everyone and welcome back to Gridiron and Grace. Today we are going to be doing some deep cleaning in my bathroom. We are going to be cleaning the tile and grout in our shower as well as cleaning the baseboards around the bathroom. But before I got started on any of that, I wanted to get these rugs in the washing machine and get them washed so they could be all clean and I could put them back out once I got the rest of the bathroom finished. So that's what I'm starting with today and then once I got these going, we're going to go back in our bathroom and I'm going to give you a little overview of what our shower looked like. The grout in here really needed to be cleaned, especially in the corners of the shower. You can see that some like dirt and buildup had formed over there. So we're going to get that all taken care of today. Before I started cleaning it, I'm just going to take our shower head and um, put some water on there and then to clean it, I'm going to use a tub and tile cleaner that I have and then I'm also going to be using this little tool that Kenny gave me and he put it on the end of his drill and it actually worked really, really well to get into all of those um, grout lines and things like that. So that's what I'm starting with and this is what I use to clean the whole shower, but I put a different tool on the end for um, a few other spots but to clean the corners and the spots that were the worst I did use this not um, cleaned our shower like deep cleaned it like this since we moved in um, I mean it does get cleaned but not like something like this to like really get in the grout lines and on the tile so I would love to know um, you could leave it below in the comments how often do you clean your shower and do you do deep cleans like this um, every time you clean your shower I definitely need to do it more often especially um, like once I really started cleaning it and I could see just how bad those grout lines were and I'm showing you right here this is the other corner that is under our little bench that we have and it was probably the worst area in the shower um, but I'll show you and after whenever I get finished and it does come really clean so it is satisfying to watch the process and see how good it looks at the end. If you'll notice I did um, like have to keep switching hands because that little tool um, was pretty powerful the more that I used it and my hand would get tired from just the vibration of it and also holding the button in so I would have to switch hands or either use both of my hands to help steady it a little bit um, so by the time I got done with this process it took me about 30 minutes maybe a little bit longer to clean the whole shower um, so my hands were definitely tired and my back from bending over <laughs> This is the second little tool that I used. Um, I mean, it's the same drill, but the little attachment, I should say, is different. This is more of a flat 
brush um but i actually think that i liked the rounded one better i thought that the flat one would be the best for the areas in the shower that weren't in the corners but looking back i actually did prefer the round brush it just did a better job cleaning to me um, but this one worked good too and so that's what i'm using on this part of the shower If you are enjoying today's video and getting some cleaning motivation, I would love it if you would hit that thumbs up button. And if you're new, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. I love to share cleaning motivation videos, decorating videos, organization things. And so you will find all that on my channel. So if you're new, I would love for you to subscribe. And now we are moving to this part that is underneath um, the glass, like where the door closes and those little brushes wouldn't fit in there. So I just sprayed the tub and tile cleaner and I'm just gonna use my microfiber cloth and I showed you right there, it really did have some buildup that had formed under there. So I was glad to get that all cleaned up. This part was so satisfying to me, just watching all of the um, soap and things that had formed from the spray. So just getting that washed down the drain, and then I'm going to give you um, another clip of what it looked like before, and then how it turned out after. As I was cleaning out the shower, I noticed there was still a little spot right here that still had some buildup on it. So I'm just going to take my cloth and get that cleaned up. We don't have a ton of baseboards in our bathroom, but I wanted to go ahead and get th them cleaned up while I was in here. And I also noticed a little spot right here on my door frame that needed to be cleaned. So I'm just going to go around the bathroom and get all those baseboards cleaned as well as um, where our toilet is in this little room off to the side. I'm going to clean the baseboards in there as well. It was kind of a tight space working in our toilet room because it's not very big. Like I said, all we have in there is our toilet and trash can. Um, so I tried to sit my phone in different places so you could see me go around the whole room, but I got the best clips that I could. I just have 
my tripod sitting on top of my toilet to try to get um, these clips but I didn't think that the baseboards in here would be too dirty but it just amazes me how dirty white baseboards can be um, if you missed my video where I spring cleaned my kitchen and living room I did the baseboards all around those rooms and it took forever and I just was just amazed at how dirty they had already gotten and we had only lived in our house about six months at that time so we've been in our house about um seven months now and this is the first time i'm cleaning my baseboards if i'm being honest um but definitely something i need to do more often because they just show so much dirt and things because they're white they're pretty but they do get dirty very easily <laughs> So now I'm just going to pick up the bathroom and the last thing that I'm going to do in here is vacuum up the floor from the dust and hair and things that fell off of the baseboards whenever I was cleaning it up. And if you are um, a woman, then you know that there's just always hair. <laughs> I always have hair everywhere. So I'm just going to give the bathroom a quick vacuum. So that is going to be the end of today's video i hope that you enjoyed and that this brought you some cleaning motivation if you're new i would love for you to subscribe and join my community here on youtube i'm looking forward to all the summer videos that we're going to be sharing so i would love for you to subscribe so you don't miss out on all of that and i will see you in the next one bye